Hey everyone, welcome back to Super Buddies Forever Salon Time. Hi. And here we have Rochelle Coyle from Haunted. Miss, um, actually it's Miss Cookies and Cream Chocolate. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, she is a beautiful doll. She is uh, my doll, one of my pride and joys. I just, she's probably my favorite amongst all the Rochelles. She's never been played with. She's never had her hair brushed. This is how she came out of the box. Um, a head of hair that looks nothing like the promo pictures or the pictures on the box. It was a little bit of a disappointment. I ordered her on Amazon or eBay, so I didn't get to see it beforehand. But as it turns out, all of them are mostly like that, as are most of the haunted dolls. Like freak to she curl. Yeah, so we'll have to probably do quite a few of those for salon time. But we're going to start off with her. I want her to look absolutely gorgeous in the haunted display. And I figured out a new technique for doing curls and making the ends nice. So here's to it working out. Hope you enjoy this episode of Salon Time, Super Buddies Forever Family. Yay! I've now got Rochelle Haunted, all taken out of her clothes, set aside safely. I take the hands off sometimes, it's just easier to maneuver the doll and not get caught in the hair. I'm getting ready to put her in my doll hair juice, I call it, which is half fabric softener and half water. Please have your parents' permission to use fabric softener. It does stain, you have to protect your surroundings. Um, she does not smell or anything like that. It's a little bit dry at the ends, and there's a look I'm going for that I want to dip her in fabric softener, a more wet, flowing, she's a ghost. Her hair should be uplifted, not down and dreary like she got caught in the rain. So I'm gonna put her in that fabric softener and not rinse it, and that will help with that. I'm not trying to make a new hairstyle, I'm trying to mimic what should have been done and what was in the promo pictures. And here you can see, she basically just has like an S curve. And I think I have an idea. I've actually never done what I'm going to do next, this type of curl. And I, I think it's going to work. And then these are really flat, and they're the same. I've only pin, um, clipped them because I wanted to grab the curls which that they had, and it, or waves more like. It looks more like four, two on each side, and then the back mostly just has a swoop up and a little kind of half curl away. So kind of get to know your doll and that will help me decide which angle to take while taking care of her. Now if I have a doll that is really really tangled and really a mess or really stinky I'll leave them in overnight. In this case I only have minimal needs to lubricate it and make it controllable and soft so I'm only going to leave that in about 15-20 minutes and I tend to not keep her head in there just in case although I've had no problems with the face makeup coming off if I repeat myself to those who watch lots of episodes I'm sorry but in case there's someone new I don't want to miss that detail that I don't dunk her face so she'll sit in there for 10 minutes half water half fabric softener and then we'll begin to curl this hair and make her look left up again, like a ghost should be. Okay, Rochelle just got out of her doll juice soak, and um, I did not rinse the fabric softener out, I just let it drip out. I have my surroundings protected so I don't stain anything. I've done one of the curls that is supposed to be an S curl. This is new to me, so I'm gonna try another. And I'm going to go very slow. And if you need to see it again, you can rewind it instead of me just doing a long speed motion of it. So I really want to make, like, we want to go kind of like that. Curl up here and up. So I'm exaggeratingly going up high so that when it falls, I'll get that little curly dent going up and down there. So I pull it all up. For my own sake, and I want these to be perfect, I just do a little snip right there. And then I'm going to begin my curl. Now I've got my straws here. These are the ones I actually cut 
but they're the biggest I have right now, so I'm gonna make them work. A lot of times I go like this and then use another cut straw to put on top to save the end. In this case, I think I might have found something else to do. Where is it? I did an experiment with dryer sheets because I was thinking about perm papers and how back in the day, learning a little in school, they used perm papers and I was gonna go buy some and I thought what would work? So I got some dryer sheets. I did an experiment on a different doll head, Rochelle, that was busted up, <laughs> did hot water, seemed to be okay. So I'm gonna take this chance since it's my doll. So I just put it on there. Can you see that good thing? Mm -hmm. Put it on there. What if it was mine? Pull it up. I wouldn't take such a big risk with your doll. Mm. And then get it to the point where you can't, you know, the hair, the end is in there nice and safe. So now we're just gonna curl as normal. There we go. So I'm gonna go only, oops, that slid out. Let's try that again. Gotta get the hang of it. <laughs> Hashtag as is. Okay, it's because I'm thinking too much. Put it on, go. I'm only gonna go halfway. And then it's slippery, of course, because it's got fabric softener. It's even shiny. I'm gonna put my thing in, my bobby pin. And then what I'm gonna do to S it is I'm going to take another straw, put it on the opposite side, and then I'm gonna roll it the opposite way. Why can't you just take a pen and write the word S on it? I'm making the hair an S. I know. I'm oh, silly. you're being silly? Yes. Oh, okay, I was going to say, wow, that was really silly. So, of course, since this is going to stay that way, I'm going to try and get it exactly the way I want it. And control it. And then I'm going to pin it. She looks like a cotton candy hair girl. Oh, I love this hair. That's what I love about it. I'm going to put lots of pins. If you let it go and it starts to let go, put more pins. Yeah. Well, and specifically, I'm going to put one pin into each straw to hold them together on both sides. Mm, I got to get new bobby pins. The rubbers are popped off of these. So you see how that's going in one straw and the other one mm -hmm. to hold those together? There we go. So I can see what's happening here. It's kind of loose anywhere. So I'm going to put one in the bottom there. Once again, before you hot set it, you're controlling the hair. So use your bobby pins to control it. So I hope that taped well. I'm going to check it and see if we have to do another one again. I think we're going to do another one again just in case. We're going to the back of the four. You can see the rooting in here. So I'm following that. But then when you get under here, it's really, really scalpy. Yeah, well, what it means is you kind of have to follow their design. You can't just do what you want with the hair as it is. I'm going to give that a quick snip. It's just uneven and just a quick one. No big thing. Just neaten it up. Try our best to show it well. I'm going to not talk as much and just do it since I already talked in the last one. Why do you try not to say so? Well, when I think too much, I mess up. Halfway. Did I go the right way? Except for the fact that I went the wrong way. I got a picture next to me, and I'm looking at it. I don't want to show it on the camera so we don't get in trouble for any copyright stuff. Uh, All right, so I'm looking at the picture to see which way to curl. So the first curl should go up. Okay, halfway. Halfway. Another straw. 
Oh. Bobby pin. They have these really big fat straws I've seen. I want to get some. I don't know where to get them from. That would be really neat. To make real big curls. How fat are they? They're like double the size. As big as Okay. Did that show good? Mm -hmm. On the opposite side. Are they as big as my finger? They are about the size of a pinky finger. Okay, so that made an S. I hope that showed good. Put the bobby pins on. Can you see? Very closely on that one, maybe? One in each straw. So you get the idea of the rest. Put one on the other side. Clip it wherever keeps it secure. Alright, we got the four of the S curls done. Now I'm doing the side ones. I did one already. Remember I said pull it exaggeratingly up? I'm going to do the same here. If we went like this and started to curl that under, by the time we hit it with water and it dries, the weight will pull it down. So if you can see on this side, we're using it to our advantage to get that extra little bit of lift up there. So we're going to do that. It's a pretty normal, easy curl. As you know, oops, I almost didn't do what I just said to do. So I'm pulling it up. If you've seen our haunted display, we have a floating display. And the dolls look really cool. So I really want to go with that. Oops, I forgot to snip it. Jeez, that's a real as-is night tonight. Are you tired? Uh, it could be. I'm just, this is something new for me, so I kind of am excited. So in our haunted display, the dolls are floating on their armpit stands, and they look really neat. Um, so I want it to be as up like they're in the air. Okay, so here it is. Do it to the end. It's just a simple curl. I've lifted it up exaggeratingly, and I'm only going to go halfway. That's it. So you can see right there, she's getting a little bit of lift. By the time we do a hot and cold set and let it dry, that is going to give us some volume and then pick it out or whatever we do to style it. It's definitely going to help. So that's a pretty normal straight on curl. Otherwise, that is now ready. So you can see it's going and we could do more higher if we wanted, but I think that might be a too much by the picture. So I'm just going to do one or two back here, and then we'll do our hot and cold dip. Well, she's all ready for her hot and cold dip. We got hot water two minutes in the microwave and ice cold water in here. She is all curled up and ready to go. Now she's ready to swim. <laughs> and we're just going to stick her in there for about 30 to 40 seconds. Make sure everything gets very thoroughly wet. I'm glad I'm trying this and I don't know exactly how it's going to work. Oh, by the way, I did remember, I did not clean out the fabric softener. So as you can see, I didn't rinse it out. As you can see, the only rinse of fabric softener it's getting is with what I'm doing right now. So I was looking at other, um, I already know Twyla Haunted has to be fixed. And I was thinking River yeah. Sticks. Yeah, well, that's a whole different line. But in terms of Haunted, I noticed there is a lot of these S curls, waves, finger curl looking things. So now it's going to go in the cold. So if, if anything, this is a really good experiment because you're going to see how it works out at the same time I do to see how that's going to work for the other Haunted dolls that I would like to fix up and look gorgeous. It's really nice and you can play with your dolls and not worry about the hair because you can fix them. These are hopefully very, very useful for you. Alright, I think she's been in there long enough. Just going to carefully pull her out. Now you can see the weight of the water could pull those curls down really well. But we're, with what we've done, we're going to have extra curls there. So because she doesn't have long hair, she can just sit to dry. Well, she did. See you tomorrow, Rochelle. I hope your hair dries quickly. Well, I have begun taking out her rollers. I did the regular curls. I think I have success. 
and I think I have a new way of making neat curls with dryer sheets as perm papers. Those curls are without a doubt perfect. And you can see the little wet look to it by not taking the fabric softener out. I won't brush this. Maybe others will. I think all I'll do is put my finger through it or separate them like that at the end of the comb. And I think I'm definitely getting that bouncy look I wanted. So let's try one of the S curls. Taking it out. Um, definitely hit some snag. There's of course a lot of bobby pins in each one. I did notice with the dryer sheets, it does take a little bit longer to curl. I can see something on there. I don't know if that was there or that happened from the bobby pin. Let's see. Alrighty. It's definitely got some lift, which is what I wanted for a ghostly girl. Looks messy right now, but I think let me pull through all of these. I'm gonna be able to style this really nice. I'll take the curls out now. Well, here she is at this point. Definitely not looking like she got rained on anymore. I'm gonna play. Like I said, I'm not brushing or combing. I'm just putting the end of the thing in and going like that till I get it the way I like it. In this case, I'm going to use hairspray. Some people say not to. Some people say do. I think the most important thing is protecting her face. So I just use a paper towel. Cover up. When I get something the way I like it, I spray. And then for fun, especially this, because I want it to be very, very out there like she's floating it does not look like the promo picture that's for sure but i'll do the best i can to make it look better than it did old 1980s hair trick of spraying it while it's upside down that will give you all the fluff and height you need just use a decent hairspray let it dry thoroughly and flip her upside down see rochelle next in her glamour shot thanks for watching Shout out to Alex AG. Thanks for being first. Always makes me smile.